Hey guys, Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I'm going to show you my preschoolers' um, work boxes for the week. I don't have a ton this week because um, we had some uh, field trips that we were doing, and so we're um, kind of out and about. So we did one yesterday, and then we're going to be doing one at the end of the week as well. So let's just get right into showing you what I do have. Um, so this week I pulled out our fall counting book, and he's going to go through here. And as he counts, I have these little um, erasers, these little apple erasers, and he's just gonna put it on the picture. So one, one, two, one, two, just like so as we read. So two trees, and then he's just gonna put one, two, put the little erasers on there, like so. Uh, all right, so the next page is three acorns, so he would just do one, two, and kind of count as he reads the page. I'll leave a link below where you can get um, these fall, I have a couple different fall books like this. And all I did was I just used um, some book rings to put it together, that way it kind of lays flat and he can use it um, for counting. All right, this next one, we're gonna use these count and clip cards. And again, I will probably have him use these little apple erasers because I just think it's cute because it's fall time. And he's gonna count one, two, three, four, five, and he's gonna cover them up. So these um, cards, one, two, three, are in my early learners math curriculum. And I also have um, a counting download too, you can get them in. One, two, um, if you get my, ultimate preschool bundle you can get all of these cards so anyway he's just gonna count and he's going to cover up so the answer with these little apples you can also obviously use um, clips with these you know the kind of clips like this where they clip their answer either way but I think I'm gonna have him use the apples this week I also pulled out these measurement cards so here he has to just count one two three um, and see how long the pencil is and then obviously cover up or clip his answer. So these ones are kind of fun too. He's just gonna count how many cubes long each of these objects happens to be and so on. So, so another thing I have this week is this um, puzzle. It's a, I believe it's Melissa and Doug. Yeah, Melissa and Doug. Um, clock puzzle and um, he's not quite ready to um, tell time yet he's only three but I'm using this as counting so I have the little um, pieces over here I have them in this um, container and then I'm going to just have him match them up obviously like you you would any puzzle and um, as he matches them up we're gonna count and say the numbers then what I thought we would do is after we do that, obviously I can still show him that this is a clock and I can still talk about using our minute hands, even if he's still young, we can still do that. But then after that, so I thought we would use the pieces since we were doing the clock and then we can use our apples again and he can count. So one, one, here he would do two, then he would do Three and so on. Okay. Okay, moving on to a few um, alphabet activities I have for him. Um, I have these alphabet clip cards, and again, we can use our little apples. So here is letter B. So all he's going to do then is he's going to cover up things that start with B. So B starts with B, and bed starts with B, and ball starts with B. Okay, so again, I'll leave links below, obviously, to all of these activities where you can get them. Okay, this next one is a dinosaur sound match it. So here's the dinosaur sound mat, and then here are the cards. One side, um, he's going to grab a card, and this one has an N on it. Then he'd have to look through his cards to find the match. I have the match right here, and this is a net. Net starts with N, and he matches it up on his mat. Then he can do another one. And I would probably give him about three or four choices. So what I would do is um, he would take a card. So this is the letter P. And then I would give him about three or four of these to um, choose from to find the matching letter. So he would look through here and find what, what matched with the letter P. Um, and then we could just continue on with all of the different letters and putting them on our mat.
Okay, guys, and the last thing I have for him this week is working on positional words. I know that I don't have a whole lot, you know, for him this week that I'm showing you, but that's just because, like I said, we've got other activities going on for homeschool this week, and so um, I didn't want to go crazy adding a whole bunch of things to his work boxes when I know that we're not going to be here to do them. Um, I will, however, show you. I did, um, well, actually, first let me just show you this. So this is just a game where he practices positional words. I got this from um, Lakeshore Learning. It has little cards and it has little toys. And this says like, put the bear in front of the toy box. So he would take the bear and have to put it in front. So it's using positional words. And then this one says, put the bear behind the toy box. So he would take the bear and put it behind and so on. So this is just, just kind of fun. So we're going to be practicing these and I'm going to see how he does on it. Um, I'm sure he will do probably very well on that. Um, so we'll, we'll try that this week and then um, let me show you one more thing. Okay, so this is his work folder and um, in here I just have all the different, you know, kind of more worksheet type activities that he's going to do. These are the ones that he's finished already. Um, this one that you can see is from my um, early learners math curriculum it's one of the interactive worksheets so this side is stuff he's already finished and then this side is stuff he still has to do these are his um learn to read and learning uh math leveled proficient proficiency sheets um and so you've seen these before if you've seen any of my videos um i'm i make those um so he's going through those and then um and I took them out of the binder. You guys have seen them in a binder before, but I took them out of the binder and I just kind of been throwing them in here. And then over here is worksheets that I just picked out that I might, may want him to do this week. There's a couple of Abeka books in here that we've been reading through, the K4 books, even though he's three. Um, they're, they're fairly simple. Um, I have this in here that I didn't get to last week. I want him to do this. So just a little, couple little worksheets in here. So that is it guys. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. I try to do these every week to show you what he's doing and I'm going to also show you what's in my first graders work boxes as well. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.